Good morning. morning. Welcome to Old St. Andrews on this Trinity Sunday. How many of y'all ready for summer? How many of y'all ready for summer weather? Yeah? All right. Uh, Welcome on this Trinity Sunday. And we're going to be singing about that and talking about that and hearing about that in Holy Scripture. Uh, Trinity Sunday. And our worship begins with this beautiful hymn about the Trinity. Let's stand and sing, Holy, Holy, Holy. Welcome to Old St. Andrews this morning. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. We remember what our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. We should love the Lord our God with all our hearts. We should love our neighbors as ourselves. These two commandments explain the way God wants us to live.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us your servants grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory. O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet. And with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the thresholds shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spark lesson this morning, page 496 in your Spark Bibles, if you'll take those out from the pews now. Page 496, the Great Commission. 496. The Great Commission. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and earth. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful. We knew it. Fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said. There's more. The disciples listened carefully. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began the work Jesus had told them to do. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. We stand now for our gospel song.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to, to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you all please be seated? Summertime. Y'all ready for summertime? Kids are ready for summertime. Parents? Sort of. I don't know if the weather is ready for summertime, but uh, summer is upon us. How many of y'all, how many of, uh, of our kids are out of school already? And how many get out this week? I think Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah? Okay, summer's upon us. And uh, teachers ready for a break? Amen to that. And um, summer travel. Anybody have summer travel plans? Yep, I do too. And um, Summer break, I feel like, for me, in some, some ways, has already started because of the court ruling a week ago. And I feel like I'm out on break or something after 10 years. And um, summer's a lot of fun. Picnic today, right? And uh, end of the Sunday school year. Uh, yesterday, um, Brenda gave me, um, at the end of the week, Brenda gave me uh, certificates for our Sunday school children. And uh, here's an example of one right here. And our children will be getting these Sunday school certificates. I signed more than 70 of them. In our Sunday school program, just what a joy to see the growth in our Sunday school program and uh, coming out of COVID and how it's growing back and getting so strong. And now we come to the end of this school year and give thanks to God uh, for that. There's a lot going on as we come into summer and getting ready for the summer schedule and the picnic today and beach weekend coming up that's practically sold. We've taken the whole St. Christopher uh, this year for the first time. So a lot to celebrate as we come into summer. But as you finish up the school year, um, particularly for our students, any of y'all have summer or uh, end of the year projects that you had to do or tests or exams? Anything like that as you finish up? Yeah? So today, you know, in some ways, on the church calendar is the end of the year as well. It's the end of the school year. It's Trinity Sunday. Now, what does that mean? And what, uh, what am I talking about the end of the year? Because the church here, you know, starts in Advent and goes on through Christmas. And then we come into Lent, right? Well, we have Epiphany after Christmas. And then we go into the season of Lent. And then uh, Holy Week and Easter, and we celebrate the resurrection for those 40 days, and then the ascension of our Lord, and then last Sunday we celebrated Pentecost, and the gift of the Holy Spirit after our Lord's ascension into heaven. So today, in the church calendar, and all around the world, churches are celebrating Trinity Sunday. And we're at the end of the school year. I got to thinking to myself, now Trinity Sunday, that's not such an easy subject, right? Trying to understand God in three persons, blessed Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Somebody's crying about it already, just trying to <laughs> figure out how to write, how would you write an essay? What would you, uh, what would you write if your final exam was, write an essay about Trinity Sunday? Now, in seminary, you have to do that kind of thing. And Trinity Sunday is one of those Sundays in the church year when they always give Trinity Sunday sermon 
to the new guy, to the associate, to the curate. So maybe next year, Jacob gets to give the sermon on Trinity Sunday. But today, Trinity Sunday, I want to ask you the question, what would you write? And how would you describe Trinity Sunday? With the end of the school year, I was thinking about that this week, and I thought back, and any of, you, any of the students here, uh, have any of you all learned that rule about writing an essay? You do the who, what, when, where, why? Do you all do that still? Well, I'm glad something, yeah, you do that? Glad some things that I had in school still are applying today. Who, what, when, where, why? And then you throw in the what? The how. Who, what, when, why? Who, what, when, where, why, how? The five W's, right? And the how. So I got to thinking, all right, well, Trinity Sunday, what's the who? Who's the who? Well, it's God. Who said that? That's exactly right. It's God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We see that in our creed. Take a look here on page 7. Why do you think there's three paragraphs in the creed? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The who of God. Now, I want to point out something else to you, and that's in our uh, first lesson this morning. And that's on page 5, the Isaiah reading. Take a look, if you will, and maybe this will help understand why we picked this reading for today. Look at the very end of the Isaiah reading. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for... Say that again? Who will go for us? Who will go for us? Now, in summer travel, you know, last summer, um, David and Judith took me, uh, took a group to King's Counterpoint. We went over to England. And while I was over there, um, I picked up this little statuette uh, of the Queen doing the royal wave. Okay? And if you set it out, she'll do the wave. How do kings, how do queens refer to themselves as we, right? They refer to themselves in the plural. This here in the Isaiah reading is not the same thing. This is a Hebrew word that is a plural us. God referring to God's self in the plural in this Isaiah reading. And we see it three times in Genesis. Let us create humanity in our image, God says in Genesis, at the very beginning of our creation. Let us create humanity in our image, God says. And then in Genesis 3, God says, they will know from good and evil and they will try to be like us. And then last Sunday, on the Pentecost Sunday, and the reading we heard from Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel, and God says, they will try to be like us, let us scatter their language. And from that time until Pentecost, scattered language. God, the who of God, is God Father, God Son, God the Holy Spirit. After the 8 o'clock service, Lynn Adams said, have you ever heard uh, the Trinity explain um, like water? I said, what are you talking about? And she said, ice, water, steam. It's all H2O, right? But God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Now, um, I want to ask Miss Betty to come over to the piano for a second and play three keys for me. So if you'll play the C one at a time. And then the next one. Now all three together. Hear that? Now each note, do that again if you will. And then, do you hear that? Now that's um, a good example, I think as well, of the who of God. Each individual and yet the harmony together. That is the who of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. 
Thanks, Miss Betty. I should have prompted her. She looked at me, and I hadn't prompted her beforehand. I forgot. And uh, so thank you for doing that for me. Um, so then the what? The what of Trinity Sunday? The what is trying to understand God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Trinity Sunday and the word Trinity, just as a side note, where do you see the word Trinity in the Bible? Nowhere. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. Now we have like in the Gospel reading today, Jesus say, baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But uh, right on there, and uh, A on that section of the paper. God the Trinity is not mentioned. The Trinity, that word Trinity, it comes from the word Trinitas. It's a Latin word meaning three. Okay? And the Pope John, the 20-something, uh, established this in the 1300s on the calendar to try to sum up the church year and the God we worship. Trinity, Sunday. That's, so I'd say that's, that's the what of Trinity Sunday. This wrapping up of the church year. The when. When. When do we have this at the conclusion of the church year? But when is the Trinity the Trinity? Eternally. Another way I've heard the Trinity explained. What do we say God is? Or who is God? God is, what would you say? God is love. Right? God is love. In order for there to be love, there has to be a relationship. And in order for God to have eternally loved, there has to eternally have been a relationship. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit in a perfect love relationship in harmony and in different form and substance. And yet, one. So when? Eternally. And when on our calendar? At the end of our church year. Where? Where does the Holy Trinity act? Where did we see the Trinity? Well, we see it today. Jesus says to go and do what? Baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At 11 o'clock today, we will baptize a young boy, uh, a baby named Alec and his mother, Belisa. They are from Jamaica and have come to Charleston for a better life. And they will be baptized here in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Where of the Trinity is everywhere. We are sent into the world on behalf in God's name to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we saw that Holy Spirit and that God the Father and that God the Son at Jesus' baptism. Didn't we? Jesus comes up out of the water and what descends? Like a dove. The Holy Spirit. And the voice of God the Father speaks and says, This is my beloved Son who I love. Listen to Him. That is a great example. Actually, you know, if I were picking the readings for Trinity Sunday, I might pick that one. That's a great example of the Trinity. God the Father speaking, God the Son submitting, and God the Holy Spirit descending and uniting. Who, what, when, where, why? Why? Why is God in three persons? Why is God one? Because God is love. And because we are to love as God loved us, right? And that requires relationship. It's why the church is important. It's why the gift of Pentecost and the gift of Holy Spirit is so important. Last week, Father, Z Father Zach reminded us about Pentecost, and he told us and reminded us, and this is so true, we believe and we teach in the creed, He ascended into heaven, right? So how can we have a relationship with God, the, the Son? How can we have a relationship with Jesus? Because the Holy Spirit came down at Pentecost and enables us through God's Holy Spirit to have a relationship with the living God. Why? Because God loves us. 
And we must love Him. And we must love one another in relationship with each other. So I think I've covered the who, what, when, where, why, and the how. How? At the church picnic, in the parish hall, in church, out in the world. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are God's people. We are the people of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's what I would say to the how. Baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in relationship with one another and in love for God and for one another. So you know, when you close an essay, you've got to come up with something right at the end. So I think I'd close it up with a Trinitarian blessing. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen? Amen. Amen. Happy Trinity Sunday. I hope my essay passed. <laughs> Let's stand and proclaim our faith. In God the Holy Trinity, and in the words of the Nicene Creed, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of the of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came to come from heaven. Let us offer our prayers to God. Lord God, we thank you for the leaders of our church, especially Archbishop Beach, Bishop Edgar, Bishop Skilton, Father Marshall, Father Joe, Father David, Father Zach, Deacon Lee, and our staff, and we ask you to bless them. We also pray for St. Andrew's Mission and their vicar, Father Jimmy Gallant, and for Jacob and April Rogers and their family as they prepare to move to Charleston. Lord God, we pray for all those who proclaim the gospel at home and abroad, and for all who teach and disciple others, in particular Father Zach Nash Chaplain at Joint Base Charleston, All Saints Church in Florence, and their rector, Father Jason Hamshaw, Hamshaw, Chelsea, and their family, San Jose Church in the Dominican Republic, and their rector, Father Isaac Pringle Mejia, and their bishop, Moises Quesada and for Father Rob Sturdy, Anglican Chaplain at the Sydney. Lord God, we pray for the leaders of our country, especially President Biden, Governor McMaster, Mayor Tecklenburg, and we ask you to bless them. Lord God, we thank you for all our blessings, especially for people who love and care for us. Especially today, Lord, we thank you for our teachers and assistants, all those who have made our Sunday school possible, Lord. Thank you. Lord God, we ask you to take care of everyone who is sick or sad. We remember especially Buzz Carnes, Julia Adams, Nancy Glenn, Tricia Keenan, Terry Perch, and Janet Meber. Are there others?
Lord God, we know you hear us when we pray. We ask that you answer our prayers as may be best for us. Let us pray for the mission of the church. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you manifested your love by sending your only begotten Son into the world that all might live through him. Pour out your Spirit on your church that we may fulfill his command to preach the gospel to all people. Send forth laborers into your harvest. Defend them in all dangers and temptations. And hasten the time when the fullness of the Gentiles shall be gathered in and faithful Israel shall be saved. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Kneeling, let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned, sinned against, against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we've done, done and by what, what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Good to see you all this morning. Peace be with you. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, welcome to Old St. Andrews today, and a particular welcome to our visitors, our guests today. If you're visiting with us today and are looking for a church home, uh, you can't find a better one than this. So uh, if you're visiting with us today, please know that this is the Lord's table, and all baptized Christians, you are welcome here at God's table, regardless of your denomination. And if you are visiting with us and would like to fill out a visitor card, those are in the front of each pew in the welcome brochure. And if you'll place that in the offering plate or leave that with us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, today, uh, you know, Father David prayed for the mission of the church. Today is Mission Sunday. And it's one of the ways that we proclaim our Trinitarian faith is in the mission that we do out in the world and in helping others who are less fortunate than ourselves. Um, the Mission Sunday wish list came out with all sorts of things that are needed um, at the various shelters we support. Um, please, if you will, um, bring those anytime, and particularly on the first Sunday of the month, we remember and focus on the mission of the church out in the world. Um, next Sunday at uh, 2 o'clock, 
is the King's Counterpoint concert. Uh, cards about that are on the pews, and that will be a wonderful concert opportunity next Sunday, 2 o'clock, downtown at Grace Church. Um, Parish Picnic is today and starts after this service. Brenda, you want to say a word about that at all? Hey, Brenda, while you're up, if you'll stay up for a minute, join me in thanking Miss Brenda for a great Sunday school year. I also want to um, take the opportunity to thank our teachers and helpers in Sunday school who are here this morning. Would you all please stand up? Debbie and Sharon are thinking because they're on the back row of the balcony, they don't have to stand up. But uh, <laughs> thank you guys. And um, thank you for your service and your ministry. This is a great ministry to our children. And I, in that note, I want to pass along. Uh, we had a, a Sunday school teacher meeting a couple of Sundays ago. And uh, just the excitement for the coming school year. Uh, so much good things. So many good things. i got to watch my grandma. Uh, happening at this church and so thankful for uh, Brenda's leadership and for the ministry of those in our Sunday school classrooms. Thank you all for all that all of you do. All y'all. All right? All y'all. Um, all right. Um, also, Brenda is leading a women's study. When you pray is the name of the study. Um, and we all could use some prayer. Uh, Thursdays at 10 o'clock. And that'll go on until mid-July. That's meeting these, uh, each Thursday. And um, also, I want to say a word about um, flat squiggles. Um, not something you see at every church, but uh, flat squiggles. Um, this has come out, right? You all have received this. Has this come out yet? So send in a photo of flat squiggles on your travels uh, this summer. I um, want to wrap up the announcements just by saying, um, I remember a couple of years ago, somebody asked me, hey, uh, I know we're in summer now. Uh, what Sunday does church start back up? <laughs> church is going on every single week. Bring your family. Come to church. Come to Lemonade Stand. Uh, Sunday school is out for the summer, but our worship of the Lord, our service of the Lord rocks right along. Amen? So look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God. Amen.
Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. All things come from you, O Lord, and of your own have we given you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, our duty, and our joy always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, who with your co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit are one God, one Lord, in trinity of persons and in unity of substance. For that which we believe of your glory, O Father, we believe the same of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, without any difference or inequality. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. <coughs> holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had sinned against you and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, into the world for our salvation. By the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, he became flesh and dwelt among us. In obedience to your will, he stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself once for all that by his suffering and death we might be saved. By his resurrection he broke the bonds of death, trampling hell and Satan under his feet. As our great high priest he ascended to your right hand in glory, that we might come with confidence before the throne of grace. On the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take. Eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your word and Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Sanctify us also, that we may worthily receive this holy sacrament and be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us with all your saints into the joy of your heavenly kingdom, where we shall see our Lord face to face. <laughs> All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, 
now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose character is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. After you receive Holy Communion, I'll be blessed to pray with you here. To the side. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the everlasting life. The blessing of God Almighty. Of the Son of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forever. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forever. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, give me everlasting life. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, give me everlasting life. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, give me everlasting life. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep an everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep an everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep an everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep an everlasting life.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen. Amen. I'll do the dismissal if you want me to.
divine. Our worship has concluded. Our service begins. Alleluia, alleluia. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Betty. Wonderful. Sorry for...